guys welcome back to my channel beauty gateways today in this video i am going to review the 10% aha and 2% bha hydro peel exfoliating serum from dotter key before proceeding if you are new to my channel please take a moment to subscribe to my channel in case you are interested in videos related to makeup and skin care and please press the bell notification button so that whenever i upload a new content you get notified Let's first discuss the packaging of the product. The product comes in a thick hard plastic bottle and it has a plastic dropper applicator. Now this plastic packaging makes the product very travel friendly as there is 0% chance of any kind of breakage or leakage. The outer packaging is a hard cardboard box where you will find all the necessary details about the product like the ingredient list, the direction of use. These informations are really vital for a product and you won't find it in the bottle itself. But still you do not have to keep the cardboard box because you will find all these informations also in their website and for the manufacturing date, the expiry date etc. These things are written under the bottle of the product. price of this product is Rs 1095 for 30 ml of product. Uh, well, this price is uh, kind of okayish uh, for a chemical exfoliator. If you compare it with other chemical exfoliators you get in the market. The texture of the product is liquid gel kind uh, and this texture makes the product very easy to spread all over the face. The main or the star ingredients of this product are lactic acid and glycolic acid which is the 10% AHA and salicylic acid which is the 2% BHA element of this product. This also contains fruit acids derived from grapefruit, green apple, tomato and pineapple which has amazing skin renewal properties and this also improves the tone and texture of your skin. This also contains antioxidants like borage flower extract and willow bark extract which has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. However, this product also contains perfume which should never be included in something as a chemical exfoliator because a chemical exfoliator is supposed to penetrate deep into your skin and you wouldn't want perfume to sink into your skin. But sadly, this product contains perfume and mind you, perfume is not one of the last ingredients of this product. In fact, it comes before many important ingredients such as borage flower extract, grape seed extract, tomato extract, pineapple extract and green apple extract. So for people who are allergic to perfume or for people who do not prefer using perfume in their skin, care this product is absolutely not for you in my next clip i'll be providing you the full ingredient list of this product you need to first wash your face with a mild cleanser in this case i'm using the neutrogena's deep clean facial cleanser and then after washing your face you need to apply a toner Then you need to take 2-3 to three drops of the Dotton Key Serum and spread it all over your face avoiding the eye area. After application, you will feel a tingling sensation on your skin which is totally fine. You need to keep the product on your skin for 10 minutes and then wash it off with cold water. Do not keep the product applied on your skin for more than 10 minutes and if after application you feel severe burning sensation then remove it immediately. Use this twice a week. Now finally I'm sharing my experience with this product and I am reviewing it um, after using it for uh, more than 2 months. So first, um, what attracted me towards this product is the percentage of AHA and BHA present that is 10% and 2% respectively which is absolutely perfect for people who are starting with chemical exfoliation and this was the first chemical exfoliation which I used. This serum is not at all harsh on your skin so people with sensitive skin can also give it a try but keep in mind the presence of perfume in it. Uh, now honestly in these two months that I'm using this product this has uh, not shown any extraordinary uh, results on my pigmentation marks or the old pimple marks but what this product does effectively is it sheds off the layer of the dead skin cells from your face and you can feel it. 
you know, before applying this product, uh, I feel some build up uh, here uh, in the chin area, the nose area, and also the forehead area. But after application of this product, when I'm keeping it for 10 minutes and then I'm washing my face, I feel my face being squeaky clean and no build up, nothing. And also, my face uh, feels really soft and there is also a subtle glow. And that is what this product is all about. So, I would like to give a full marks to this product on these aspects. You know, honestly, I really love this product and if you give me a choice between a physical scrubber and this scrubber, I would definitely choose this scrubber any day. But there is only one thing that is the presence of perfume in this product which really, you know, kind of pisses me off because this product otherwise is really nice. So if you just uh, minus the perfume from this product, it is really a good product. So if uh, you are not fussy about the presence of perfume in your skincare product, you can definitely give this product a try. It is a good practice to exfoliate your skin during the night because a chemical exfoliator makes your skin uh, sensitive to UV rays. So it's not a good idea to you know exfoliate your skin and then go out in the sun. When you are in a process of chemically exfoliating your skin, do always wear a broad spectrum sunscreen whenever you step out of your house because as I told you that uh, chemical exfoliation can make your skin really sensitive to UV rays and you need to protect your skin from that to avoid further damage. So always use a broad spectrum sunscreen, ideally SPF 30 plus. After you use the serum, your face may feel really dry. So a good moisturizer is recommended. Hyaluronic acid is something which I use and it works great for me. So you can try that out and do not ever use a vitamin C serum after exfoliating your skin. With that, I come to the end of today's video. I really hope that today's video was useful to you. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for further contents. I will meet you again in my next video very soon. Till then, you take good care of yourself. Bye.